couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video I'm gonna share with you the three most difficult exercises for any musical instrument. The first one is easy if you practice it. The second and third ones never become easy. Um, I just want to share it with you so you can try it out uh, in your free time and just see how demanding these three exercises are. They sound really, really simple, but they're actually very, very difficult because they're counterintuitive and it's uh, physically difficult to do it. Now, um, the first exercise is to play something as slowly as you can. As slowly and as delicately, as subtly as you can. Just take any, um, any um, composition, any chord progression you know, anything really, and just try to play it really, really, really slow. Okay? As slow as possible and still keep time. Uh, now, keeping time isn't the, uh, the essence of the exercise. The exercise is to see how slow you can go. So, for example, if we play something like this, just uh, let's do um, a C and an E minor chord. Okay, now let's slow it down. Now let's slow it down even more. Now look at my leg, I'm counting time. Again, still keep the expression of what you're playing. Not just technically, just try to make music out of it. Okay, I think I um, up the speed there. Um, try to keep the expression of the music going. It's not just a technical move. It's not just sitting with your metronome. The idea here is to sit without a metronome, without a metronome, and try to play as slowly as possible. Okay, just try it. A couple of chords, even strumming it. G and D. Now let's slow it down. Even more. The idea here is not if it sounds good or not. It's about testing yourself because it's actually really, really easy to go high speed. Okay, it just takes training, but it's really, really difficult to slow down. Very, very, very difficult. Let's take as a last example before we move on to the next uh, difficult exercise. Um, uh, let's take something a bit simple. Let's take the beginning of the guitar romance. Okay, I have a lesson for it if you don't know it. It's this. Okay, some people play it expressively, slowly, some people play it uh, high speed. Okay, it's, um, it all depends on your mood at the moment. Let's try to go really, really slow. Okay, it's excruciating to listen to, I know, but try to play it. Try it. It's not as easy as it looks. It's really excruciating. You really want to up the speed, but don't allow yourself to. Just slow down. Again, take a couple of chords, 
Even a longer chord progression, take, uh, for example, C, G, A minor, and F, okay, the four chord song. D just try to play it as slowly as possible. I know that I promised that this is the last example, but I want you to hear something that your ear recognizes. Um, let's take it in, um, in finger style. In Travis picking. Okay? You know this chord progression. Okay, now let's slow it down. Even more. <laughs> Made a mistake. This is really impossible. Trying as best I can to concentrate. And I have ADHD. I up the speed there. Again, really slowly. And keep the musicality of it. The dynamics, everything. the speed went up again. Okay, that's the first exercise. Good luck. The second exercise and the third exercises are opposites of each other. One exercise is to go slower and up the volume. The third exercise is its polar opposite. It's upping the speed and lowering the volume. So it's either upping the speed and lowering the volume or slowing down and raising the volume. That's almost physically impossible to pull off, okay? Even professional musicians have trouble with that and they practice for months just to pull that off. Um, it's not necessarily a skill that you need, um, but it's really nice when you actually succeed. That rhymed uh, unintentionally, but um, I'm not even sure that I'm gonna pull off an example, so let's try. Let's go for a speed exercise, a tapping exercise, and I'll try to up the volume and uh, to up the speed and lower the volume. Okay. As I lowered the volume, I also stopped pressing the string to the end, so we didn't we didn't get the whole um, the whole melodious slime there. We didn't get all the notes, so I'll try again. Okay, I have succeeded, okay? I haven't nailed it yet, but okay, let's try a, uh, a, another um, speed exercise with Travis Peckham. Okay, let's start with high volume. <laughs> that was ridiculous. You see, it's impossible. You, you stop playing. If you want to... Um, lower the volume, you tend to stop picking or stop producing notes. And that's not the idea here. The idea here is to keep playing it. Let's try the romance. Okay, half succeeded. Okay, up the speed, down with the volume. Let's try the other way around. No, start slow, start with low volume. This is really confusing. Try it. <laughs> this is impossible. Okay, it's a bit easier than the previous one. Let's write with tapping. Okay. Lame, but 
half there. Again, not all the notes uh, were produced. I didn't keep the rhythm, okay? The rhythm changed, and the idea here is to slow down, but still keep correct time, okay? Relative to the piece. And um, as much as I made a fool of myself, I just wanted to show you how difficult these three exercises are. Um, and if you're also playing a different instrument, try it too. Try it on the saxophone, try it on the piano, try it on the drums. Um, try singing. Um, that's, that's challenging. So those are the three most difficult musical exercises in existence. Um, because, uh, again, let no one fool you. Speed is reachable. You can play high speeds if you practice enough. You can play low speeds if you practice enough, but low speeds demand more um, expression as you've seen at the beginning of the lesson. Um, but again, high speed and low speed are attainable. The second and third exercises, speeding up, lowering the volume, speeding down, raising the volume, those are the most uh, difficult exercises in uh, musical existence. So um, try them out when you have time and see how you do. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.